Okay, it seems like we're back. We're back, 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 back. I apologize. Uh, let me just make sure. I, I, sorry, I don't know why we disconnected there. Anyways, I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair. Uh, let's just do a quick recap of anything, because I don't know what the uh, disconnect caused us to drop. Looking at the backlog. Uh, this isn't everyone, right? Kaito, er, whoop. Kaito and Kyokichi aren't here. I bet Kokichi is already there. He is the mastermind of the killing game. He's waiting for us to arrive. We don't know that yet. There's still a chance Kaido is alive. Cut it out. Do you want to die? Maki. This is a battle between hope and despair. If I show any weakness like you are, then I'll know then I know I'll lose to despair. Lose to despair. That's you don't know? Six of us will participate, and one of us will die after this class trial. And only five will be left. Only five. Uh. That's right. We're the only ones left. That's obvious. But we can't lose to despair. Even if we have no future, we need to win. That is the whole point of this class trial. I will defeat Kokichi, no matter what I have to sacrifice. No matter what she has to sacrifice? Are you sure about that, Maki? Is this- is that what you call hope? I know that we can't lose to despair, but something is wrong. Something doesn't feel right. I wonder what Kaido would say at a time like this. What would he say to us? If it was Kaido. Alright, I'm going to save. Because we went through a good bit. And having that disconnect kind of... Uh, jumped us a bit. Around. Alright, statue. Ramble, 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 ramble. I apologize for coding issues. We didn't say a word to one another. Silent as a tomb, we stepped into those open doors. And down, down, down we went. We had lost the will to live, knowing what we knew about the outside. But somehow, despite that despair, we had found a new reason to live. To win the battle between hope and despair. But now, what do we know? We don't know what hope means to us anymore. What is hope? A burden you bear? As those thoughts pierced my mind, I suddenly stopped. I can't think about things like that anymore. The only thing I need to think about is survival. Oh! Oh, hey, 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 hey! That's nice! Ah! A battle like this takes me back! After all, hope and despair are natural enemies! Just something.
Okay. Yes! This is actually truly a magnificent theme! <laughs> Only a steam wax of fiction have themed as magnificent as this! Why? Anyway, where's Tokichi? Why isn't he here? Maki was boy. Right. The person who should be here isn't. Well, I'll tell you once the trial starts. What? What's going on? What are you scheming now? No. It doesn't matter what Kokichi is scheming. This is the final battle between hope and despair. It all ends here. Kokichi can twist and violate the rules all he likes, but will never give up. Hope will never succumb to submit to despair. Oh, full of love of no rules have been violated. Not on my watch, you know. Shut up. Whatever. Hurry up and start. We'll end it with this class trial. We'll defeat the remnants of despair, no matter what. So get ready. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, let's get started. Mix equal parts life and death. Add a dash of lies and truth. Bake it in the fires of conflict. And when it's going brown and bubbling, you have yourself a truly decadent class trial. Here we go. The final trial begins. Once more, we face the class trial. Was the one who died Kaito or Kokichi? I can't say for certain, but I still believe. Kaito wouldn't die so easily. I don't know why I believe that so strongly. But I will fight to prove it. I will fight with everyone. To grasp the hope the other side of this truth. I will fight. I will fight in this trial of truth and lies. Do you want to save? Absolutely. Ooh. Things are going to be hitting the home stretch soon. Let's begin the class trial. Would have been nice if we had gotten to start. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So two things. One, it would have been nice if we gotten to start the class trial like at the beginning of the episode, uh, this recording, but A, 30 minutes, not too bad. It, having that little disconnect delay. Ugh, I hate it. It's annoying, but whatever. It's over. Second, I like how this entire room is decorated like the first uh, trial of the first game. I think. I think it was the first trial of the first game. Um, it might have been a different trial, but either way, it's reminiscent of the first game. During the trial, you'll present your argument for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. I like how... Uh, so, Kaito has question marks over here. A question mark over here. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Ooh. And we'll do whatever it takes to survive. Wow! An Actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Seriously? <laughs> what happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Aw, don't make that face, killer! This case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? He's also got a question mark over him. I kind of want to... Where is Gonta's? I want to see what Gonta's um, portrait looks like. 
Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. Given these circumstances, I decided to start off this quest trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Okay, uh, we can, uh, Gonta just has a big X. Uh, I thought he had something a bit more, uh, reflective, reflective to him, but oh well. Don't worry, the person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. I think she's so willing to say that the victim is Kaido, so she can make uh, Kokichi be the killer. So he gets, you know, executed. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Everyone thinks that Kaido is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaido is still alive. If we keep discussing the case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Go! Let's see. The victim has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken prisoner by Kokichi. Yes. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Yes. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. Uh. And the culprit must be Kokichi. I don't know. Uh. Looking at the board, Kokichi's disappearance, no one has seen Kokichi since this investigation. So I think it's That's possible. Really good Kading! If only mages could cast your by spells. <laughs> There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or the survivor. It's too early to declare who the victim is. The victim has to <laughs> So we have. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence. Here's where we have. To... What? If Kokichi died, then we would have found his body, or at least a trace of his body. We didn't find anything of his, but we did find Kaido's clothes. That's why Kaido must be the victim. That's, I was wrong. that's it. Okay. So we the have to use Kaido's to or Kokichi's clothes. Because it would be weird why Kokichi's clothes. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. Uh, nope. There's evidence for it. Uh, I so just. Oh, come on. That was that was me. That was, that was, me. That was just me messing up. There we go. That's wrong. I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes. And look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? One of them was in the back of the spine. The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. Their clothes. People can change their clothes. It could have just been Kaito's coat by itself. Yeah, 
That's right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Ever since he found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito is still alive. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothes. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm? What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. It's also the fact that it's his left sleeve. Ah. Uh, because Kaido normally has his left his arm in his left sleeve. He has it out of his right. So it also wouldn't mean that he'd be he would have been laying upright. Uh on his back with belly up instead of face down, which is where the loose thing would be. Something peculiar is the sleeve of the jacket. That's it! Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? If Kaido had been crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Shall I kill that logic? Ooh. Argument time to argue against Maki. Uh-huh. You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. Alright. Rebuttal showdown. Let's begin. Let's see, what do we got? The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. Uh, but oh. Kaito, Ow. if you can't see that, uh, there we go. then you weren't looking hard enough. No, advance! I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand it, be quiet already. Otherwise, you're getting in the way. Not quite. Aki claims appears solid, but I know that it's not. She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaito is, Kaito is dead on that evidence. He always dressed himself in uh, a rather odd manner. Kaito's coat, I guess. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, uh, All that stuck out was his coat sleeve. Pattern. I guess Kaido's coat is... If you uh, understand to be quiet already. Otherwise, Kaido's coat is the away. only evidence that makes any sense. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. I'll cut through your words! There we go! Yes, it's true. Kaido never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's oddly strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaido is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead, the killing game would be over. Yeah. That's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present. 
now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Mm. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Time for a plot twist! Whoa! Piloting the red exosol? Sorry for the encoding issues. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Exosol? Was there anyone in there? What? Why is an Exosol here? Haha. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What? What? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? Kaito? What? Ugh, did the stream crash? There was a lot going on, so I just hid in an excess all and kind of dozed off. Are you kidding me? Seriously, Kaito? <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid! That was just a lie! What? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Kikichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. What is going on? Wow, that's old. How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? Wait, 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 wait. So he's standing on those platform things. Um, crap, where was he? There were three of them, so why? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Why is there three things? Evidence? What's the third one behind? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. What, what did you say? Notice how he also says the victim. He doesn't say Kokichi died. Er, oh, right died. Let's watch this shocking moment. Also, sorry about any encoding issues that might happen because video. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exosol, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. That's... That was definitely Kaido in there. Oh! 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 Huh? Kaido? This is terrible! Why would something like this... I saw it through my fingers. My toe was crushed. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause buttons so you can't edit after filming it. And of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. 
Right, Monokuma? Hmm, he's not saying anything. Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. Hmm. Suspicious. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. Oh, that would be a dog and rope game to kill off like the most positive shipper character. Where the video has been added. Was that was that really him? I'm gonna save quick. We just got a lot, and then I want to relook at that. Because there's, there's got to be something off about it that makes it not Kaido or something like The video shows the camera from the exit hall, it shows the moment. Uh, unfortunately, it looks entirely like it. And from what I can see, it seems like him. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait! Look, if you guys notice, there is no blood trail going there. So there's no blood trail going all the way uh, to there. It would make more sense that uh, it would be, uh, what's the word? Yeah, that cut, because first of all, the hydraulic press should have stopped unless Kaito was dead. But if Kaito was dead, that means that uh, somebody had to put him there. Most likely meaning that his body was dragged, but there should have been blood. So there's something off about this. Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. It's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my bark over to you. Why is that a thing you can do? I know that's a joke, but the thought of it... Why? Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. And there's the one platform behind him. He just told us that he what he had just told us all that he was the mastermind that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is. Now, uh, okay, so nothing back there. You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died, which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown, to jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? 
Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. No, no, no. Unfortunately, no, no, no. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Ashima created, right? Huh, so there's no uh, little platform over there behind Maki of any sort. Your beloved Junko and Oshima. No. Junko? Whatever! It's voting time now! Let's go before Kokichi changes his. Hang on. No, hold on a second. This isn't right. The culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for the situation. I think... Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? What? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. See, at first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting to you. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. It's fine, because Kokichi is the culprit. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. The footage shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? Okay, no, so there are only two platforms. Okay. I thought there was a third one or something. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Hydraulic press. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? But white pattern. That's that's the thing I have to point with. Horrible video. Whoever committed that crime was with Kaito in the hangar. Yes. Which just leaves Kokichi. Ah. Uh, the culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game. And Kaito's killer. Uh, Kichi killed Kaito with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is that even possible? There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. Oh, uh, we all saw that footage from earlier, right? Safety function. That's what it is. Kaito got crushed to death. No, no, he did not. That's wrong. The safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function? Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means, it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. So what we saw in that video, he was already dead by then? 
So then what was dragged through the blood? It looked like but something you was could dragged disable out. disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electrobomb. No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electrobomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Yeah, you would do anything. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- Nope. No, we do. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there's a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. Found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Uh, let me just show a question. What clue suggests that the cause of death was not the crushing, and that would be the swipe pattern? This is it! Yes! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Hmm. It looks like there was also something missing at the blood stain. I can't tell what from this aerial picture. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaito was being held, wasn't it? Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. What? We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests a cause of death. It is that little, uh... There! A hole in his jacket. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. This is a small hole? No, no, no! There is no way that hole's got anything to do with the weapon! See, you're just... You're, uh... You're nervous, because you know what that... What caused that hole. I'll hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse! Ooh... There's nothing Anything, to buy. what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Um, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. No, it's not impossible. I can show you. The weapon that left the small hole in Kaido's sleeve... That would be the three arrows. The arrows in the bathroom. What? What can you do with just an arrow? Are you saying they stabbed him with it? Oh no! What? Okay, well, then it's the crossbow. This is it! Mm, sorry. I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you you know the about that crossbow, arrow would don't certainly you? certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. Uh, I see. So surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Himiko. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to be. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing. Then let's show him that playtime is over. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. <laughs> Hope? Despair?
wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. <laughs> what a mystery, right, guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. Let's stay in the From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the Bathroom hangar. Bathroom window. The alarm system and electric barrier were in the way. Whoa, that's a lot of If we couldn't go in the hangar, and Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. Kaido would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right, guys? We're not able to talk about uh, Kibo bringing the, uh, the shot Kibo seeing... Uh, From inside the hangar bay. No! That's wrong! We're not able to talk about uh, Kibo seeing Himiko go in with the bag. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Maybe it wasn't possible to get in, but you could have shot through the window. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> but put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? Hey, I just want to find the truth! Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? It seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. Says the murder girl! W what's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, Someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? Ah, uh, really? We had to make reference to that. Come on. See? Now that's definitely weird. I, I very much agree, Shu. Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. I never knew about any crossbow. In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Ooh, we got you. Well, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me? It's awfully suspicious that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait, don't say it's me. Maki's more suspicious than I am. What? That crossbow came from your research lab, right? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you want. Could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Even if you make that scary face at me, I'm not gonna get scared. Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. Why 
am I a suspect? Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Alright, it's time for a mass panic debate. Maybe I am the culprit! Time to panic. Now where is the large black key? Keyboard account. There we go. Why is the number one suspect? Because I was in the hangar. Alright. If you need to focus more on the TV codes. What do you mean? Not the There's a good magic source around here. So I went there and found the number one suspect. Aha! You went there empty handed. Ah! Crap, I lied. Uh, not, I, I didn't not lie. I I missed. Alright. Gotcha! I heard it! You said that you went to the hangar empty-handed, but that's a lie, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. you he said you were case headed case. toward the hangar, carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. No, that was probably... Smoogie cosplaying as me! But Smoogie can't because of her, uh, cospox. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character? Himiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's... the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. Then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it there! I didn't shoot it! It's the truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not Gigi, just, you. just be quiet. If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! That is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. You'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. Not the culprit. Let's see, we have the crossbow, the arrows, the black case. I only carried the case. Uh, yep, yep, that's true too. Hmm. Let's see. He only carried the case. Then how was the crossbow actually? No. Both could have been thrown inside, I guess. And then there's the three arrows. There's also the small bottle. I think we have to show that. I didn't even use the crossbow! And then there was the mm -hmm. exosols protecting statement. Monokuma. The day before the body was discovered, the exosols surrounding Monokuma in the courtyard were given commands to observe his movement via the remote control. So that's not going to give us anything that's good. All. I didn't do anything then there's else the point. 100% exact to Mundo. <laughs> so hit 
potato with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Because you could have done it. That's the question. Uh, or maybe it's the fact that, uh, if we look at the crossbow, it was com it was complicated to assemble it and would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. So that's it. Yeah, so that's totally the evidence agree. that we have to use. Yes, you only carried the case. I'm not yep, shooting yep. that. That's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. I think that's what we agree on. Yes, I agree. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. <laughs> Sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now she changed back so fast I think I might have whiplash now <laughs> then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar Himiko I was asked to by who asked to perhaps the person who asked was Kato that's it was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Cause I know you like me. Nah, -uh, I hate you. But I like you. Ah, uh, let's not get this into creepy territory, please. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. Yeah, it belongs to Tenko and Angie. To think that Kaido asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaido was trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't you worry! I'll do something about all of this! That's a promise! All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax! But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sorta of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. <laughs> Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um... I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little, and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Um, that one part was, uh... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> so if Kaito asked for a crossbow, 
Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow and went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. But then, where does the poison come into play? No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. There's proof of that. Uh, what evidence shows that Kaito shot Kokichi with the crossbow? That would be... Ah, uh, Kokichi's clothes. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Uh, no, that in between very much matters. How else am I supposed to put my comic book together? Maki's been acting strangely. But why does she know something? So, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. No, we don't. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. Yes, there are some. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. What? Hmm. What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier, didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Seriously? Why? It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The luminary of the stars has arrived! This time for real! Then show yourself! What? What's going on? I told you, I'm Kaito! I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. Why? There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Well, if it's Kaito, then Don't you can show stupid. yourself. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't... Ever call me that! Whoa Ooh. there, chill! You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Uh... 
just doing a quick save. I don't know if we're about to go into a, a psych taxi, psyche taxi. And I, we are in like the last few minutes. So just saving quick, just in case. Kaito is alive after all. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of the case is... Oh! Uh... I gotta say it's Kaito! Trying. I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaito. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. Despair will never uh -oh. die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Oh! Alright! Let's give it everything we've got! Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick save. I'm gonna do a, 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 a very, very, very quick save before we get into that. Because again, kinda press for time. I'm gonna have to overwrite that, because I don't know if that just affected me how the trial outcome is going to be. I apologize for encoding issues. Kaito has to be the victim because he was crushed. Doesn't matter if he died in the fray or not, he was crushed in the press. Oh, Maki's on my side. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got Exosol. This. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. He said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Love injury. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Lucky! Doubt it! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I got this! Arrow Kaito's holes. clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind. Lucky! The Mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Time! Now button smashing! believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Hmm. Why are you being so uh nervous, Monokuma? 
Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. We will get those facts straight next time, because we are out of time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. We have had some very interesting developments today. We are on the very last class trial. So, we will continue this on next time. Tomorrow, 5.30 to 7 here on this channel. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And to quote Angie, Bye, Yanara!